Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Testop here, and today I'm showing you guys this tweak. Um, it's called IPA Ranger. I just want to make a video on this. I thought this tweak was pretty cool. So um, yeah, let's begin. So right here, first off, I'm gonna mention everything I can about this tweak. This set you guys up for success with installing this tweak and using it. So first thing I want to mention is right here, this package cannot be downloaded with Cydia. You can try it. Um, actually, I didn't install this with Cydia. So um, if you but if you guys are having any trouble with installing this with Cydia, just download with Zebra. You also try Cilio, um, and that should work. So, also, I'm beginning with pretty much both this is compatible with. Um, this the well, this was just updated two days ago as making this video, and it's pretty a relatively new tweak as to making this video, which is on March 17, 2023. It is compatible with iOS 13.0 to 15.7.3. You obviously do need a jailbreak um, to install this and use this. So, we'll go through the description. Here, right here is a screenshot of it. I'm going to actually go through the description first, and then I'm actually going to show you guys what it looks like installed on your device. So, pretty easy to use and all that, but let's begin. So, IPA Ranger is the first GUI application for the great IPA tool. Um, I believe IPA tool is like a command line based only. So, this is great to have like a pretty much an application we can use, which I prefer over the command line because I suck at command line stuff. Um, this application will provide your uh, pretty much you with a GUI interface to interact with the IPA tool. Uh, with this app, you'll be able to pretty much obtain any IPA file from the App Store. In this tweak, you will be able to log into your Apple account or your Apple ID. You also guys can choose the country or region that you guys want to search for apps and install apps from, which is pretty cool inside the App Store. Through this tweak, um, you click on any search result to copy the button ID, um, which is used to pretty much download the app. Um, you download from your account in any country um, for any IPA and you can manage also manage your download app, your download apps so you can install IPAs directly on your device which requires app sync so I'm pretty sure I haven't tested it out yet but I'm pretty sure you can like uh, open up or like install IPAs and then download it through this through IPA Ranger so I think you guys can do that so that should work for you which is pretty cool and then just install it from the IPA from this tweak um, you guys also can rename share and delete your IPA files so this tweak right now it does cost I think a couple of dollars I believe and it will be free and on open source in three weeks um, the developer just is trying to make some money just for like the development of the tweak which I mean you all should pay for tweaks especially when they work and they're good I mean and usually they're cheap usually they're only like a dollar to like three dollars but yeah cheap I mean definitely worth you know supporting developers especially when it's only a couple dollars so developer did test this on a couple of different um, job rates and different iOS versions and he did have pretty much success for the most part so um because you run across any errors then i mean you might just use a different device or possibly for an update for that iOS version or for that jailbreak um two things guys well three things first thing is that this does support two-factor authentication i actually did not get it working for myself unfortunately so um if you guys are having issues with that just turn off your two-factor authentication with you know your sign in with app id and then you can just pretty much log in and then you guys should be good. I mean, I actually tried like my third app ID and didn't have any uh, two-factor authentication. And then it would let me in right away because there was no two-factor authentication. But for the other two app IDs, it had two-factor authentication and I didn't get any email, I didn't get any like, notification. So I wasn't really sure how to exactly get that two-factor authentication code. Maybe I'm just being stupid. But um, yeah, I mean, let me know or help each other out in the comments if you guys can. Um, so yeah, and then also I want to mention that this does not store your password. This pretty much is you just pretty much put your password in for your Apple ID so you can send it to the servers for Apple ID so you can log you into your Apple ID. Um, and also, this does not work on the Etsina A15 jailbreak. I mean, you can try your own risk, it might possibly work, but the developer does not have a device that supports Etsina 15. So, um, I mean, he said it doesn't work. I mean, maybe it works, but. I wouldn't recommend trying it unless you just don't care about that device because it could possibly boo a bit or just destroy the device. Um, more than likely, it probably just crash and then you just delete it. But still, I mean, when you guys install tweets, you use at your own risk. That's just you know, <laughs> um, never use a uh, you know, never just use a jailbreak on like your main device. Like always, have like a testing device. I use my my main device. I've got like boot loops like four times. Now I can't back up my data because. I, I don't like backup tweets, it's just too much hassle for me. So yeah, I've lost a lot of stuff <laughs> multiple times, but you know, it's really happening you guys jailbreak. I, it's definitely worth it for me. Also right here, there's a one, uh, one jailbreak review as you check out. So once you guys install it, it, it'll be an application form. So you guys can go to your home screen and then pretty much open up the app. And when you open it up, it's gonna ask you to log into your Apple ID, I already did. 
and you know you don't really get too much options i mean you get the basics which is pretty cool on the bottom right you're gonna see your account i'm not gonna click on that because that's my app ID, my app id uh, email is all that so we pretty much have two tabs for the most part we have uh search and download so we go to search and then on top left we actually can change the region to where we want to search um for our apps and install the ipas from so the app store so um i'm in the united states i'm just going to stick it to the united states and then you guys can search for an application or an app to download um, I do want to mention one thing, guys. I know a lot of you are asking this, like, oh my god, can you get free apps from the App Store? No, you guys cannot install free apps from the App Store. It does not work. You can only install free, I mean, uh, not paid, I mean, you know what I mean? You cannot install paid apps from the App Store. You can only install free apps, not paid. It will not work. I tried it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to install an app. Um, let's say I'm going to do Netflix. So we'll, we'll try Netflix just to give you that idea. Search. And whatever you uh, want to search, it's going to search the country, region, and then you can pretty much find it, tap onto it, tap on copy bundle ID. And then once you guys do that, we actually can go in the bottom and tap on download and then tap on the arrows pointing down, that's delete all. And then we actually can just copy and paste that bundle ID and tap on download. And it's actually going to download right here. Oh. Alright, so that one was working for me. Uh, I think I had a screen recorder on when it was just messing up for some reason. But you see, I just installed a random app. And after you guys install it, it's going to say success. Uh, press on OK. And then we just delete it or whatever. Uh, but when we go to our home screen, we're going to see that's right here. And then uh, we should be able to open it up and use it. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.